Oh, for goodness sake, get back to behind the camera. This is how we serve fish and chips at the palace. We've now got to make the Queen's fish and chips. So, the Queen wouldn't really eat the fish fried in all that crispy, rich batter. A little bit too much for her. She preferred a more refined fish and chips. The chips were all cut the same length. Every one the same length. Perfect rectangles. I've taken these again and I've blanched them like we did the other chips and they're ready to drop in the fryer. The nice hot fryer, uh, 375 degrees, 190 Celsius to come super crispy once we cook the fish. When we were making the fish we'd actually do a panko crusting, a bread crusting instead. So we'd take the fish and season with some salt and pepper. And it would go into flour and then a mixture of egg yolk and melted butter. The egg yolk helped bind the crumbs, the panko crumbs to the fish. And then the butter sort of helped fry the fish as it cooked in the oven. So we turn the oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then the fish goes into the flour. After that into the egg yolks and melted butter. And finally into breadcrumbs or panko. A just nice and light coating. Once that's coated we put it onto a little baking tray and it goes in the oven 400 degrees for about 10 minutes until it's nice and crispy. While the fish is cooking, I'm going to make the sauce. When we serve this to the queen, we do a tarragon hollandaise. And hollandaise, you start with egg yolks and whisk them up. And we add some lemon juice, tarragon, salt, pepper, and of course, clarified butter. Once you've mixed the egg yolks together, you put them over the heat over hot water, a bowl of hot water, and we whisk them until they start to warm up and what we call break. Then I've taken my butter, heated it up and drained the whey off, that's the white stuff at the bottom. Once I've got my egg yolks hot, I can then start slowly adding the butter. Add it slowly because otherwise it will split. As it starts to thicken, you can add a little of the lemon juice and then more of the butter. Once the butter's in and I've got a really nice thick creamy sauce, I can add my tarragon and salt and pepper. I keep that somewhere warm and when the fish comes out, we'll drop the chips into the fryer, get them nice and crispy, and then we're ready to serve. So my sauce is made and the fish is almost cooked. Now we just drop the chips into the fryer. The chips have been in the fryer for about four or five minutes and have gone super crispy and nice and golden brown. Now I'm just gonna drain them off onto some paper towel. Again, a little sprinkle of salt while they're still hot. Perfect, look at those. Next, we'll take out the fish. The butter and the egg yolk have made it go a nice golden brown. So carefully, we can lift this off onto the plate. And then we add the chips, but these are special chips, so we have to build a little tower. Finally, our tarragon hollandaise sauce.
and a pretty little flower. At the palace, the menus will be written in French, so this will be cabio with pom pont neuf. Does the queen eat fish and chips? Sort of, I guess. I love the combination of the flavours in this dish, and we'd serve this a lot when the queen had guests for lunch. The gorgeous, tender, flaky fish in there, beautiful cod, and those crispy crumbs on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. The crispy chips. So good, but I still think it needs salad cream. Thanks for watching. That's my fish and chips. The royal fish and chips, the ones we cooked at the palace for the staff on a Friday. 200 portions every Friday. We all look forward to them. And then the dish that we prepared for the queen. The queen's fish and chips. So which is your favourite? This one? Or is it this one? Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Okay, if you take your mask off, you can have a little of the fish, but you're not having the chips because the salad cream doesn't agree with you.